1300 hours Pakistan Standard Time Assalamu alaikum this is Radio Pakistan the news read by Shiraz Mahmood Khan First the headline Prime Minister has directed to ease rules and regulations for establishment of fruit and vegetable markets in the country Pakistan has called upon the United Nations Security Council to initiate immediate action against Indian agencies involved in the sponsorship of terrorism against Pakistan. The Election Commission of Pakistan has announced the Senate elections will be held on 3rd of next month. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, a complete shutdown is being observed today to mark 37th martyrdom anniversary of prominent Kashmiri leader Muhammad Maqbul Bhatt. And now news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has directed to ease rules and regulations for establishment of fruit and vegetable markets in the country. Chairing a meeting of federal capital ministers as well as chief secretaries of the province in Islamabad today, the Prime Minister directed to strictly monitor the prices of commodities. He asked the provincial chief secretaries to take action against violators and the government officials to take care of the people who face problems. The meeting reviewed matters related to wheat, flour and enhancing markets for vegetables and fruits in the country. Information Minister Senator Shibli Farah says government is ready to address legitimate demands of the government employees and make progress on them. In a tweet today, he refuted statement wrongly attributed him about the government employees regarding reduction in their expenditures and said that he has never issued such statement. He said some elements are trying to create misunderstanding for political goals attributing such statements to him. The minister said media will play its due play on this issue. Pakistan has called upon UNSC sanctions committee to initiate immediate actions against Indian agencies involved in sponsorship of terrorism in Pakistan. In a series of tweets, Pakistan's permanent representative to United Nations Ambassador Munir Akram said recent United Nations reports validate Pakistan's actions against all terrorist groups. He said Pakistan has been and continues to remain a victim of terrorism, including that of being directed, financed and sponsored externally by India. He said Pakistan presents heartfelt gratitude to under Secretary General United Nations Office of Counterterrorism Vladimir Voronikov for expression of condolences during UNSC briefing today to Pakistan and other member states which have suffered from terrorist attack. Munir Akram said Pakistan has provided inferable evidence to, of India's support and financing of United Nations list Tariq e Taliban Pakistan and Jamaat al Ahrar to the committee. He said Indian statement is a clear manifestation of its role as a spoiler in. Pakistan Navy has released a special song in connection with the multinational Navy exercise Amun 2021. The song Call for Peace is a fantastic amalgamation of Urdu and English languages. According to the spokesman of Pakistan Navy, the song gives a message of peace and loving nations to get united on one platform to join cause for peace. The song, while welcoming the world countries for joining the Amman exercise, accentuates the resolve of Pakistan Navy for promotion of peace. The Election Commission of Pakistan has announced the Senate elections will be held on 3rd of next month. According to the notification issued by ECP, polling will be held for 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. in Parliament House and all provincial assemblies without any break. 37 martyrdom anniversary of prominent Kashmiri leader Muhammad Maqbul Bhatt is being observed on both sides of line of control today with renewed pledge to continue struggle till realization of the right of self-determination. The AJK government has announced to observe Yom e Azaman no today to pay tribute to the Kashmiri martyrs. It's a public holiday in Azad Jammu Kashmir today. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, complete shutdown is being observed today on a call of all Huria 
parties, all parties Hurriyet Conference, Jammu and Kashmir Liberation Front, and other pro organizations. India had hanged Muhammad Makbul Bhatt in New Delhi, Tilhar jail this date in 1984 for his leading role in Kashmiri ongoing freedom movement and buried him in the premises of the prison. Meanwhile, in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops in their fresh act of state of terrorism martyred a Kashmiri during a violent operation in Uri area of Baramulla district. The first T20 of three match series between Pakistan and South Africa will be played at Qaddafi Stadium Lahore today. The match will begin at 6 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And that is the end of the news. For more news analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com slash radio Pakistan news official.